Aries, I hope you're all doing well. So we'll be looking at your first date with the one. For signs, we have fire, earth, and air coming through. It's not really giving me a specific sign. The first card to come through was the devil, which is Capricorn. This is the most hot, steamy, you know, pile so far. A lot of physical attraction here. It's like it's it'll be hard for you both to keep your hands off of each other. It's really, really steamy. And this person will almost be addicted to you. And the passion here. I'm getting this person's a great flirt. I'm seeing a lot of back and forth flirtation. This person will want to take it to that next step in terms of intimacy. Um, there will be affection here. I'm not sure how far you're willing to go because we also have Seven of Wands, Knight of Cups in your energy. You have romantic feelings for this person. Sometimes Knight of Cups can be wearing rose-colored glasses, but paired next to the Seven of Wands, it's beautiful, right? You're very romantic, charming, perhaps wanting to wine, dine, take this person out. Um, if you identify as the more masculine energy, really fight for this, right? But others of you, I'm seeing more of a receptive energy and keeping your feelings to yourself. So you're not quite verbally expressing how you feel and you're keeping your guard up with the Seven of Wands. So you are putting up some resistance here, which this person will love regardless of gender. This person likes a good chase and you're someone who's hard to get. And this person will be the one pursuing you, really flirting with you. Um, a lot of your conversation on this first date, we have Numinous in the 8th house. So it is about intimacy. Um, this person complimenting you, but oh, very focused on the outer appearance we have with Ascendant. Some of you, if you are tall or more curvaceous, this person really... But regardless, whatever you look like, this person thinks you're a star. You're their physical ideal. And they have a lot of steamy thoughts when it comes to you. And on this first date, you'll see it in their eyes. There's like a hunger is what I'm getting with devil. And you represent a mystery to this person. You're not letting them completely in. And they want to unravel this mystery. There's more to you. I'm also getting an energy from you. Look, but don't touch. This person will be very overwhelmed with the intensity they feel for you. But it is coming through, I'm not going to lie, on this person's end, it is coming through more superficial and passionate. Like they're overtly focused on how you look. And that may be why you're keeping them at a distance. You're saying, I need to learn more about you. Right? We need to communicate. I need to know what you're wanting from me. Because if you're wanting a fling, I don't think I'm interested. I'm saying that because one of your oracle cards, which I'll point out here in a second. So yeah, you're open, but a little bit hesitant. Their energy, Nine of Swords, Ten of Cups. They're very stressed out. I'm getting they're more anxious and a lot of mental activity in terms of how to go about this, what to say, what is the right thing to say. They're an overthinker. Because you both being on two different pages on this first date, I feel like this will be slow and steady. Knight of Pentacles is one of the slowest moving nights, right? Paired with Saturn. So yeah, this is this will really move at a turtle's pace. Although this person will want to rush things when it comes to the physical, I'm not sure you're on board here. You're saying let's build a solid foundation. Three of Pentacles, let's get to know each other. Let's build a friendship. And the reason for that can be Ten of Swords, there's other things in your life that are needing your attention. You're feeling a little bit exhausted, and this can have something to do with your work. Some of you may be students, you're feeling overworked and drained here. In some aspect of your life when you go on this first date, so you're a little bit distracted. But I don't feel, a lot of you, I don't feel it has to do with this person. For a few of you with the devil, three people, three people, um, and in one of your oracles, we have second chances, you may know this person. And the reason you're not expressing yourself 
and we had numinous mystery secrets, it may be because you're not wanting to involve yourself in any third, fourth parties. You're not wanting to be anyone's option, right? And this person, they knew they want, they know they want you, but they're not quite the most. They're not really the committed, commitment type here. And some of you in their past, they may have been a player. I have to be honest, for what I'm seeing. But it's like they can't hold back from you. You're a match here, king and queen of wands. They desperately want to take that leap towards you. But it's a little bit of a careless, foolish energy here. The fool normally doesn't have to be foolish, but in this case it is. They're attracted to, to everything about you. But if you are creative, say singers, artists, painters, they really like, you know, you may play a musical instrument. I'm seeing that. They'll be very impressed by you. Whatever you do creatively, they'll be impressed. Because I see the way you approach life, it's very similar. So you have a lot in common here as well. But yeah, it's like worst case scenarios. This person's playing out everything that can go wrong on this first date or even in the future. Really, look, we have the Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords, Ten of Swords. Someone may be putting on a break here, especially you, because this person gives up player like, they come across player like, if that makes sense. So yeah, very passionate, fiery, a lot of flirting back and forth. And this person will try to find ways to touch you. I do see that feeling on you. They'll try. We have the diamond in the rough. This is how you're seeing them, Aries, on this first date. They have great potential to be great. A lot of work in the beginning, Three of Pentacles, but you're willing to lay that foundation and put in effort. A relationship that is worth saving. So you will want to fight for this. Some of you may be a little bit more jealous here as well. Wanting this person's love affection to yourself. I do see that, but that will be for a few of you. We have return, second chance, opportunity, making amends. So some of you know this person and you'll be coming back together. They had player-like ways and they're changing and they'll be coming in with stability, but it will take time. It's not an easy ride here. I'm seeing a roller coaster actually. And others of you, you know, we're all on different timelines. We're all different people. We're not all going to get together with someone we, you know, we know what X or whatever. So this is telling me it's a second chance at life, at love. I also see that because one of you may be coming out of another commitment. So this will be a fresh slate, a new beginning for the both of you. It'll be an opportunity presented to you by the universe, Ace of Swords. Now it's up to you, free will, what you want to make of this. You have all the tools with the magician to make this a success. And it can be long-term, right? It's the one, Devil Saturn. It's like once you meet, it may be a little bit rocky, but it'll be hard to stay away from each other. There's a little bit of a codependency here. Like you feel like you need each other. It will be like that. You'll you'll come to sort of depend on each other. But I don't get anything too toxic here. So I feel like it will be within limits. And when you're some, someone who knows your worth, then you have strong boundaries. So I don't think you'll have an issue. We have foundation. Established family security. Well, I feel like you're working on building laying down a solid foundation for yourself maybe you have some goal here when it comes to your career that you're working very hard on but this is what you're looking for is what i'm seeing right someone that you can build long term with you're ready you're ready for family you're wanting something secure someone you can rely on depend on we have the version the version for how this person's seeing you hasn't had sexual intercourse inexperienced in love Sexual history is important to them. Well, some of you, you may be, um, you know, inexperienced here when it comes to the intimacy. But a lot of you, there's something very pure, innocent about you. It's like Beauty and the Beast is what is coming to mind. 
Some of you may be very spiritual, intuitive. You like to pray. You like to do the right thing. You're coming through as the more traditional one, whereas this person's coming through as the more spontaneous and out there. It's like a bad boy or a bad girl. But this is what this person's attracted to. They really see your pure heart is what I'm seeing. Some of you, in the beginning, their intentions may not be so pure, right? Because with all that intimacy, that may be what they want from you. But I don't see you giving in easily. And that this person ends up falling in love with you is what I'm seeing. We have 53, breathing room, freedom of movement, space, ease. I get this with the King of Wands energy, someone who doesn't like to be tied down, maybe a fear of commitment, they're needing their space. Again, eight, something about the number eight is coming through, but it is Scorpio energy. But I'm also seeing the chairs and the table here, so this may be some open space that you meet up. There may be other people, maybe a dinner or something. Because I'm seeing multiple chairs, so there will be other people around you. Some of you also, I forgot to mention, there may be a distance, so one of you has to travel to see the other. We have 67, sound, healing, healing, tone, self-expression, music. Well, one of you may be more artistic, and you'll be discussing, you know, whatever project you're working on. Maybe you're me making music, you write songs, because you both are coming through as very passionate and creative. King of Wands and Queen of Wands always remind me of a role model. People may look up to you. You're very popular. You both are extremely popular, I'm getting. And I'm also seeing, you know, restaurant, bar, whatever, and some music. Okay. It would be too much of a risk for me to jump into anything with you. I'm scared of the outcome. Yeah, this person's a little bit hesitant to take that leap. I mean, they will with time, but a lot of overthinking, nine of swords. They're scared of the outcome. We have, I'm moving on, there's no fixing us. I've lost my patience, it's time that I move on. Yeah, you're not an easy catch by any means, and this person may be very impulsive, wanting to rush things, and you're, you're putting up resistance, maybe even pushing this away. Sometimes this card is saying no to someone despite the romantic feelings. You are attracted to them, but you're also no fool, right? You're waiting for the real deal, I feel, with the virgin. So there may be a period where you're separated and you both go your separate ways, and that's why we have a return. But we also have, you know, another way I can interpret this is one of you is moving on from another connection. I, I can't really pinpoint who it is because I have an ending in your side of the spread and also with this person. So there has been some challenges in terms of your love life prior to you meeting this person if you haven't met them. We have, I know I need to make a choice, but for now I'm comfortable with leaving things as they are. Yeah, on this first day, I don't see someone who's ready to make these changes, but they will come around. They'll have a choice to make between you and another person, between you and their freedom, but you're the one they'll choose because it's meant to be. Finally, the perfect time to come together, our love will prove to be worth the wait. So yeah, there are some obstacles, but ultimately there is true love and you both will be coming together. Let's get you this dating deck and then we'll get you advice. Oh yeah, look at that. Taking it slow, don't want to mess things up. I mean, this person was a little bit hesitant in terms of how they express themselves. They don't want to rub you the wrong way. Um, they don't want to be on your bad side, that's for sure. But I feel like this is you taking it slow. Yes, yeah, some of you will be, again, with the wine glass and the table, which I was seeing in the other oracle. I want to wine and dine you at a fancy restaurant. You seem very classy wherever you're going, and this person will spend a lot of money on you. I feel that with devil. Can be a more materialistic energy, someone who's trying to impress you with what they have. I do see that. You'll enjoy yourself on this day. They'll make you feel special, but you don't trust them. Aries, first date with the one. What can Aries expect? 
rough start, exactly. Our first date wasn't the best, but it doesn't mean we can't try again. I th it's not that you won't enjoy each other's company, it's just that you're on, not on the same page. Undecided, I'm not sure if we could have a future together. They want you physically and you're wanting something with them. That is why, rough start. Dress to impress, I want to look so good you won't be able to resist me. Well, yeah, both of you will be putting special effort into your appearance and that was the, the you know, that was the theme in terms of what you'll be talking about. So it's all about passion. Yeah, I'm trying to put you under my spell, being charmed. This person will do everything, everything to woo you. Drama. Can we let it go and move past this? You'll put up a fight and you're someone who stands your ground, they know that. And there may initially be some drama here. Yeah, a lot of flirting, which I mentioned. I'm hoping my flirting doesn't go unnoticed. I like you. This person may even try like, I don't know, kissing you, touching you. The very hands-on, physical touch may be a love language. Chemistry. The chemistry is so strong, it's setting my mind on fire. I was telling you, this person's burning with desire. Burning. Some of you, this person does let their ego get in the way and they're not wanting to mess things up. And they are wearing a bit of a mask here is what I'm seeing. Let's get you one more. Aries first date with the one. Travel, flirting and travel. Pack your bags, we are going on a trip. Yeah, this person's spontaneous. They may spontaneously travel towards you. I know it's a bit last minute and not exactly planned, but would you mind going out? Some of you may choose to, um, if you choose to spend the night together, I do see that. Watching a movie, cuddling. And a lot to talk about. I don't think you get bored listening to each other's voice. <laughs> get you advice. What advice do you have for Aries in regards to the first date with the one? Reliability is your advice. I am reliable when I say I'll do something. I take whatever that something is seriously. This applies to all commitments, even the ones that may seem, may have seemed small and, and insignificant to a less reliable me. From now on, flaking is just a dandruff for commercials and cereal factories. I'm not sure what that is about, being on time, being reliable. Some of you may, because I was seeing that there was something else going on, you're feeling a bit exhausted, you may want to cancel or say no to this opportunity that is coming through. Wow, yeah, with the Ten of Swords, we have cleansing. Feeling bogged down by the weight of a thousand thoughts? Yeah, Ten of Swords. Feeling bogged down by the weight of a thousand thoughts, feelings, boxes of mystery objects lurking in your closet? Consider this a prescription to clean house. Mentally, physically, literally, figuratively, and anything, that, anything else that applies adverbally. It's hard to make room for new connections and experiences when every bit of your emotional space is cluttered with psychic bric-a-bac brick a brack interesting there may be a situation you're very focused on right and you're not seeing a way out and they're wanting you to sort of look at things from a hawk's perspective seeing the bigger picture and it may help put things in perspective whatever challenges difficult emotions you're going through it's not permanent right it's temporary and you will get through that you will get through any of these challenges. That is also coming to mind. But it may be cleansing space, literally. It may 
may really help help you yeah they said your focus should be just your health right now especially mental but this can be physical as well regardless just your overall health should be your focus they're saying you're on the right track so don't worry if you feel like you're losing out or you're running out of time i'm also seeing that with the clock they're saying no you're on the right path and this will unravel in perfect timing it is the one so i do see a beautiful friendship developing into something beautiful uh, with patience here that is what i have for you aries take care of yourself and i'll see you next week bye